This is one of my favorite spots in the Holy Land, the Sea of Galilee. Virtually unchanged in 2,000 years since Jesus called his first disciples. I've learned that every day from about two in the afternoon till five at night, the wind picks up and it blows from the west to the east. And it's pretty strong, just as happened all those years ago. It was here that the bewildered disciples were trying to catch fish without much success after Jesus' crucifixion. And then they noticed the man on shore. The resurrected Christ was cooking them a fish breakfast. And it was on these shores that he reinstated Peter. You know the words, feed my sheep. That divine commission has stirred my heart for over three decades. And there's so much to share from my visit this time. I have walked in the footsteps of Jesus here in the past. This time, I literally walked under the footsteps of Jesus. First on the path he and the disciples would have taken to the temple, but this time, under that very path. We met archaeologist Eli Shukran at the old city of David in what 15 years ago was a parking lot. Since 2008, he's been uncovering a drainage tunnel commissioned by Herod the Great Builder. We followed it for over 300 feet to a newly unearthed section of the Western Wall, 15 to 20 feet under the old city of Jerusalem. Archaeology is a relatively new science, still in its infancy, just over 100 years old, but it's making up for lost time here in Israel. We met another renowned archaeologist, Gabriel Barcaí is a key player in a modern day drama. His university students followed truckloads of rubble from a construction project on the Temple Mount. They had some of the material and poured it out onto their teacher's table, rocks and sand and antiquities. A rescue mission was launched. Today, with the help of volunteers, including school children, over half of the 400 truckloads of rubble have been sifted in 10 years. Tens of thousands of treasures rescued, many of them from Jesus' day. Do you need more proof of life to put your trust in the author of life? The one who came and lived here as one of us, died and rose again. He lives for you. He promised a gift, his peace, not as the world gives, peace of mind and heart as you walk with him. Nothing more is required, no more archaeological evidence or, or anything more from you other than simple childlike surrender. Maybe today you're ready to begin to walk with him.